that he really is going to be replacing is Chun Li, who is completely skill capped on the monk. So what exactly will we see from Snuts? First, it's going to be the Rogue. Eighty-four percent of you think Super Frog's going to be able to take this one. Let's see if Storm has anything to say about that. I can remember all the way back to the beginning of Warlords of Draenor yep. when Nesper competed in GCD TV tournaments. He played with Pink Rangers in shape as he played the Rogue Warlock Druid composition for the first time in a tournament, and that's what he's been playing in this tournament throughout as well. Let's see how it can perform against the classic Rogue Mage setup. This is a devastating start for them overall. Cubsy does ultimately get sapped at the end of this chain, so there is going to be some opportunity for Storm to strike back, but no damage just yet. Maldiva looking for setup, gets a fear onto the healer of Cubsy. He cannot heal Wealthy Man inside of this, and Nesper is getting kited, though. Wealthy Man using a Frost Nova to hold Nesper in place and buy time for Cubsy to connect some heals. A blind over onto Metaphors, but unfortunately it was diminishing returned into a power. A bit of a mistake there by the Super Frogs, dropping their most powerful crowd control quite early. Yeah, I think this is going to favor the Super Frogs in the late game. I think the Frost Mages has so much control over the Assassination Rogue. Maldiva is going to be a perfect target for Snuts to just sit on in this game, put out lots of pressure. So I think as this game goes on, the Super Frogs are going to start developing more and more of an advantage as they start using their offensives and land these key crowd control chains on Metaphor. All right, double stun combo by the Super Frogs as Cubsy looks to try and help initiate crowd control, but Maldiva is not even getting dented. And now this Infernal timing is perfect. It's right to counter engage when his healer is crowd controlled. So now Snuts has to make a decision. Do I keep attacking? Do I run away? He doesn't want to waste the crowd control on the enemy healer, but at the same time also doesn't want to die. So that was a defensive infernal timing, which you don't really get to see very often, but it did manage to buy Maldiva time to survive and attack and extend the match deeper into dampening. Now Cubsy shadow melding a chaos bolt. Great timing by Cubsy avoiding that big hit. Yeah, Cubsy is a phenomenal Resto Druid. We talked about how in North America we primarily focus on the Restoration Shaman, but Cubsy has definitely been one of those Druids have, who has always held it down and can still multi-class at the same time. But every time Cubsy is on his Druid, he's making these really critical plays, getting the Cyclones that he needs, pushing in at the perfect times, and keeping his team alive for a very long time. Multiple Maledicts incoming towards Maldiva, and it gets deflected entirely by Metaphors. Now, no cooldowns have to be traded. Storm are going to get a lot more sturdy as they now lead an attack towards Wealthy Man. There's the Maledicts now committed over to him as well. Cubsy dispelling that healing absorb effect and recovering quite easily. Both these teams pretty evenly matched so far. No significant advantage on either side. Cubsy trying to jump in and crowd control. Maldiva intercepts, but he still goes for it. Double cross crowd control looks good, but Nesper actually peels the entire team away and in initiates a counter engage. This is exactly what they need to do against the rogue mages. Every time Metaphor is a crowd controlled, kidney shot a target and try and counter engage at the same moment. It's a bit risky, but that's the best way to hold this mage down long enough to find a kill. Yeah, I think it's a good strategy. Just think about long term though. Maldiva, he's going to be having snuts on him forever. Basically, caught into the kidney shot. It's really difficult for him to kite and actually get away. He has to land fears on snuts or use his gateway which is a much longer cooldown whereas you can see nesper he's having a difficult time i mean he can shadow step kidney shot wealthy man but after that he's caught in novas he gets caught in polymorphs snares it becomes much more difficult for nesper to have uptime so that's why i think if the game goes on long enough and they can stay on maldiva this is kind of a scary moment allowing maldiva the free cast but they can stay on maldiva in the late game it's going to be a big advantage for super frogs all right here's a blind play from the super frogs and metaphors actually getting bashed on trinket into polymorph great response there by the Super Frogs, continuing the chain, and they're looking to pull more cooldowns, but Maldiva deflects it, and Nesper is a great defensive rogue. I will give him that as probably the best compliment. He knows exactly how to stop an attack. A lot of rogues are known for offense and getting things done, but Nesper knows how to defuse situations, which is why he pairs so well with a defensive-oriented class like a Warlock, and he can make this composition work. He's constantly stopping these engagements and trying to counter-engage, but in a Polymorph, he simply can't do that. Maldiva is in trouble. Nesper's not in range to really support him. Maldiva with the perfect gateway placement. Does manage to escape for now, but Nesper still can't connect and assist. Metaphors gets caught in a poly. This could just be it. Maldiva taking tons of damage, but trying to counter engage. Nether Ward spell stolen. Metaphors is still crowd controlled, but nice spell lock by Maldiva breaking the chain. No, Nesper continues the chain. He managed, or sorry, Snuts continues the chain with a kidney shot and still tons of damage. A bash now into a cyclone. Perfect crowd control by the Super Frogs, really turning up the heat at the end of this game. They're going to be able to take that. They're going to switch targets a lot on this map, or if they may actually get overwhelmed. Storm needs to find a strategy change. They seem to be very reliant on this cop. This game going to be absolutely key. Otherwise, Superfrogs put themselves on match point.
Yeah, the Super Frogs, their main objective in this game, sit on Maldiva, put kidney shots on Maldiva, much crowd control as they can on Metaphors, and eventually win it out with the Kleptomania coming in from Wealthy Man, just clinical crowd control, avoid as much damage as possible, and that really is what the Rogue Mage Druid it, excels at. All right, good trade here. Metaphors stringing in blind using Iron Bark to reduce damage of Vendetta, but now that Gladiator's Medallion isn't available and he could get swapped to, and I really want to see that from Snuts, take some pages out of Peekaboo's book and try and put some pressure on the healer as well. Well, that is going to be the shortest line to victory for their team at this current moment, but they need to survive. Snuts locked down in the kidney shot, but Wealthy Man backs them up. Cubsy in a position very far away. He doesn't want to get swapped to using that waterfall to line of sight, but they're still committing to the Warlock. Cubsy jumps in to get crowd control. Let's see how they decide to trade. This is a vital moment for the team. Maldiva tries to save the day. Perfect timed Infernal into double Mortal Quill. Maldiva completely diffusing that attack from Super Frogs. Yeah, nicely done. Wealthy Man under fire now. Caught into the kidney shot. Cubsy trinkets out of the blind immediately. Doesn't want to fall behind. Wants to free up Wealthy Man. Keep him nice and healthy with those heal overtime effects. Nesper looking for a restealth. Manages to find it. Nicely done. Nesper is known for trying to drop out of combat. Get these restealths. Try to reset and set up for his team. Nice Ice Nova coming in from Wealthy Man into a Frost Nova. Does get dispelled by Meta. So Nesper is a little bit free here. Interrupt now onto Wealthy Man. Kitty shot on Maldiva. He has decided to pull his offensive cooldowns out, but unfortunately not really able to get much done with a kidney shot coming in from Snuts. All right, Cubsy moving forward, cycloning Nesper, Wealthy Man casting Frost Bolts and generating Icicles, and just launching them right away at Maldiva. Wealthy Man just trying to maximize his damage here and look for an opportunity. Nesper slowing that down with an interrupt. Chaos Bolt flies over, try and burst down. Wealthy Man's going to retreat away, respecting that destruction Warlock space. Does not want to have to trade a Ice Block this early on, and currently with no Gladiator's Medallions on Wealthy Man and Cubsy, that could be an opportunity for Nesper and Maldiva to make a move, so it wouldn't be surprising to see the Super Frogs play passive for just a little bit, or they could risk a counter engage. We do see Snuts is the most forward member. He's got the most defense. It makes sense for him to be the aggressor in this position. Yeah, Nesper taking heavy bursts, actually getting caught into a cyclone. If they can extend this chain, anything on Metaphors right now, I think Cubsy's going to be pushing in, looking for a bash, manages to find oh. it on Metaphors. Kidney shot on Nesper. He's playing relentless. He has no trinket. This is a nice setup from Super Frogs. Cloak of Shadows and Gladiator Safeguard being showcased. You can see that blue shield on Nesper. When that's active, that means he's going to be taking reduced damage, have a heal absorb on him when he gets too low. So that does keep Storm alive. All right, Icy Veins Vendetta are available for Snuts and Wealthy Men. When you combine those cooldowns together on a target like Nesper, who does not have Cloak of Shadows or Evasion, he disappears from the arena quite rapidly. So he's going to need support from Maldiva, cooldowns from Metaphors to survive. But Snuts and Wealthy Man Cubsy can remove that defense with crowd control, and they want to do it. They see the opportunity. Cubsy is pushing forward. Wealthy Man is timing Polymorphs. Storm are getting a defensive position back behind the pillar, getting ready for this attack. They know how devastating it could be if it's properly executed, but Cubsy is a bit reluctant. Wants to make sure it's safe. He cyclones up Maldiva, moves in. They're going to make a swap. Cubsy trinkets blind, dashes in. It's time to go, go, go. Everybody in crowd control. Maldiva breaks out to try and stall it. Kidney shot on Cubsy denies follow-up, and they manage to stall the cooldowns out. Now they can trade Ironbark for Vendetta. Nesper will survive. Good defense by Storm. Yeah, very nice defense from Storm. Nesper realizing that situation perfectly with good positioning, doesn't overextend, knowing he's the only vul vulnerable target in that exact situation. Managed to pull out the Vendetta from Snuts and really not trade out too much besides the Iron Bark, which is a very fair trade. Kitty shot now on Snuts. Maldiva looking for some Chaos Bolts. And the way Wealthy Man and Cubsy are positioning, it's basically forcing this rogue on rogue matchup later on in the game. I think Super Frogs will have an advantage being able to target down Maldiva, but they just can't push in with the small box. Snuts looking for a full blind on Meta. Metaphor. Cubsy looking to follow it up with something. Snuts manages to land the full sap. Metaphor's just sitting this. This could be a little bit of a mistake. He does trink it out, but he doesn't really have too much healing to assist. No Iron Bark. Now into a bash. Nice CC coming in from the Super Frogs. Maldiva trying to reverse it, but he's dangerously low. He's trying to take the gamble. Is he going to get away with it? It looks like he's going to be able to sneak away. He's using Rain of Fire to spend Soul Shard, so his Grimoire Supremacy buffs this next Chaos Bolt. Wealthy Man knows that Chaos Bolt is a big threat, so he's going to use Counterspell to stop it, but now there isn't a way to stop it. Cubsy has to run and duck for cover. If Maldiva gets a Chaos Bolt in these next couple seconds, no Snuts is going to, to deny it just a little bit further. They need to stop this Chaos Bolt for a couple more seconds. It's being casted. Maldiva tries to fake it out. Goes for a fear, soaks the interrupt, gets a Chaos Bolt right towards Wealthy Man, chunking him down below half. But Wealthy
old man already in position to duck to cover. They completely diffuse that destruction warlock's pressure. But now Snuts was left behind, caught in a fear at dangerously low health. That gladiator safeguard triggering a shield and allowing Snuts to soak up some damage. We see the super frog starting to stabilize with that infernal threat out of the way. They're trying to make a push. They catch Nesper in a stun, but down below, out of line of sight, a little bit of an awkward position. Nice maneuver by Nesper. Now catching Snuts, baiting him down below. What Cubsy's forced to move forward is going to be able to recover. Cubsy trying to push forward and bait some interrupts, trying to get them out of the way for Weltyman and himself to secure crowd control. There's an opportunity here to get a kill on Nesper with him this low. Cubsy sees it. He moves in, gets the crowd control. It looks good on two members. Nesper gets stunlocked. The healer can't help him. Maldiva needs to save the day. He's going to use double mortal coil, get them off of Nesper's back. And Maldiva's defense has been great in this match so far, but it seems aggressively that he just can't get anything going. Well, he's using all of his offensives defensively to peel off, and I think it's smart. He uses the Infernals, the Dark Soul, as well as his coils just to counter go when Super Frogs pushes in. They're getting their crowd control. Maldiva can deflect them with those abilities. It's smart. Smoke Bomb now on Nesper. He is into a kidney shot. Good healing from Metaphors with the Iron Bark now full blind on Metaphors. He has no trinket. He waited to trinket the last crowd control chain. This is a small opportunity, but Nesper with the Cloak of Shadows, with the evasion. He doesn't throw here. I think he's going to be able to survive. He's out of line of sight of Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man charging in. Full staff still on Metaphors. Metaphors not trinketing out. He just wants to hold it as long as possible, allowing Nesper to just trade out his defensive. Still a bash. I think Metaphors has been crowd controlled for the last 25 seconds of this game, but there's just not enough damage from the Super Frogs to take Nesper down. All right, Nesper trying to make a move with Vendetta, but he's overextended, and Snuts is starting to pressure him away with double Maledict. Tons of damage. Cloak of Shadows trades. Chaos Bolt's flying as Maldiva's left open. He's trying to make a move here to get something going for his team. Is he going to be able to do it? Doesn't seem to be the case. Cubs he already lined up. Mana completely even as we dunk deeper into dampening at this point. It's still anyone's match. Maldiva's perfect peels have bought his team time to get to deep dampening, but now they need to figure out a way to navigate a kill because they've really gotten no major defense from the Super Frogs throughout this fight. Now, Wealthy Man is going to start and attack that frozen orb, chopping out multiple targets. Nesper, the main one, however, comes in getting spell locked. Maldiva finally getting some aggressive maneuvers. Snuts forced to trade evasion, so there are signs of life from Storm. Yep, Snuts, he is just playing very carefully right now. No one from Super Frogs really wants to push in. Snuts just kidney shotting who he can. The long game does favor Super Frogs. Now a bash on the Metaphors. Maldiva could be in some trouble. Has the unending resolve. Full cyclo now on Metaphors. Still has his trinket. Is he going to use it early? If he does use it before the blind, that's going to be another opportunity for the Super Frogs later on. Full Polymorph. Metaphors in a situation he really doesn't have too much to play catch up. No Iron Bark for 25 seconds. Any more crowd control Metaphors. Unfortunately, the chain ends. Maldiva once again using his Dark Soul to counter pressure. Big damage on Wealthy Man with the blind on Cubsy. I think it was unfortunately diminishing returns from a fear. Nesper uses the blind into a kidney shot. Cubsy going to trink it out of that. Wants to hold on to Wealthy Man's Ice Block and I think it's a smart decision. They need to get an Ice Block from Wealthy Man, but he's already postured very far away from that Destruction Warlock. And even though he's low health, he cannot cast Chaos Bolt on him from this position. So he'll be able to hold on to Ice Block. In the meantime, it looks like Metaphors is trying to sit down, drink, regenerate mana for a late game potential. He's got a little bit of a lead off the back of that, but he left Maldiva behind. Blind, pre iron barked, and ends up breaking from the Frozen Orb. A bit of an error there on the part of Super Frogs. That leaves an opening. Now with Blind Threat out of the way, Maldiva could afford to play more aggressive. I would like to see maybe a swap to Cubsy. He's been dashing into the enemy team. He's got no trinket. If they catch him in cat form with a couple of Chaos Bolts, they may be able to take him out. And Cubsy just going to retreat away instead and try to find a drink himself, maybe? No, coming back into the fight, doesn't want to risk anything at this point with Dampening ramping up quite high at 22% healing reduction. Both these teams quite evenly matched here in Game 2. Nesper looking for a cheeky sap play, maybe, onto Cubsy, but not finding it. I can imagine he wants to open on Cubsy, but he wants to just make sure that Maldiva's in line of sight. He Ooh. actually does get the sap. Nesper played that out so patiently, waiting for Cubsy to drop combat, but Snuts is there to save the day, stunning up Nesper on his attack towards Wealthy Man. And now Wealthy Man can reverse the pressure with Frozen Orb. Nesper, Nesper needs to make a choice. Does he keep pushing forward through this offense, or does he retreat away? Looks like he's just going to soak it up in midfield, exchanging blows with Snuts. Maldiva and Wealthy Man both left open in this position. Who's going to dish out the damage is now the question. Nesper seems to be the one that's falling behind. And you can see Snuts, he's actually playing the Dark Iron Dwarf, which is super effective against the Maledict Trinket and the Assassination Rogues. So I think it's a smart choice of the 
they do decide to all in on Snuts, he can use the Fire Blood um, Racial to remove all of the magic effects, including the Maledict, to keep himself alive. Now at 27% dampening, things are starting to get spicy. Maldiva taking quite a bit of burst into the full Kidney Shot. Metaphor is going to have a difficult time healing through this single target damage. The Assassination Rogue, like we talked about, super effective against the Destruction Warlock, especially later on in the game. Cubsy Trinkets out of blind, wants to keep Wealthy Man healthy. Full Kidney Shot on Wealthy Man with a Chaos Bolt. They Ouch. need to be stopping this. Ouch. Maldiva doing a good job. Wealthy Man getting low. He needs to use his first Ice Block of the match. Gets out of it looking for some damage on Nesper, the Vortex, but Nesper realizing it, uses the Faint. He's still very healthy with the Evasion, with the Cloak of Shadows, and Super Frogs just really having a difficult time pushing in, getting the CC they need to close out the game. Now swap over to Snuts. Maldiva left open double Mortal Coil. He used that aggressively to try and get close the game. Maldiva is switching his strategy. They've survived to deep dampening. Now they need to start getting aggressive, but it will leave them open defensively. They left Nesper behind. Maldiva gated to safety, but Nesper wasn't able to follow. Nice Shadow Fury. Nesper now can gate back to the team and start to recover. Overall, good synergy on the side of both teams here as we move deeper into Dampening. Wealthy Man is the one who's actually falling behind, at least on one ice block, where Storm have all of their defense ready and available. I still would love to see a swap to Cubsy at some point in this game should he expose himself, but he just hasn't really given the opportunity to Storm to take. Nesper gets caught. Smoke Bomb gets dropped. He is playing Relentless, unable to get out, but Maldiva counter pressure. Infernals are down. Maldiva can hard carry here if he gets a couple of Chaos Bolts off. Will he get them? Snuts knows that threat. He's going to go immediately back on Maldiva. They have to stop Chaos Bolts. There's one being channeled. He gets counterspelled. They have to keep stopping these Chaos Bolts. If even one can sneak through, it could either force a Cloak of Shadows or get a kill. Kidney Shot stalls these Infernals just a little bit longer. But there's the swap. Nesper sees the opportunity to punish Cubsy, trying to find a solo kill, not able to stay on target, instead creating pressure on Wealthy Men. Both members forced away, but they left Snuts behind. They're going to go after Snuts instead. Great target selection from Storm, bouncing between all three members and throwing Cubsy for a loop. Yeah, Metaphors did trinket there. Now Super Frogs they just need one nice setup. Wealthy Man is very afraid right now. I'm not sure they're going to be able to actually get it. Maldivica does get a kidney shot on his Dark Soul. Wealthy Man looking for some damage. If Cubsy at any moment can push in with Wealthy Man, they can get a game-winning crowd control chain on Metaphor. Maldiva not going to be able to survive too much longer at 41% dampening like we talked about. The Assassination Rogue is very effective. Cubsy pushing in. There's the full bash looking for a Polymorph, but Snuts gets deleted in the meantime. What oh. happened to Snuts? wait. wait. Mm. I don't think I don't, I think gonna, gonna, that was yeah. matchup just reminds me of Warlords of Draenor so much. These two compositions, Nesper, like Sid was saying, playing the RLD. You see Cubsy and Wealthy Man playing the Rogue Mage Druid, uh, getting flashbacks. Getting flashbacks indeed. Metaphor is caught into a sap early on, and this could allow Super Frogs an opportunity. But Nesper, once again, perfect counter engage. Blinds Cubsy, stuns Snuts, slows down the damage just enough for Metaphor to comfortably sit through crowd control as Maldiva is completely topped off throughout this entire initial assault. Yeah, Snuts trying to connect some damage. Cyclone coming in from Cubsy. I think on this map with this giant pillar, it's unlikely that they try to play in the open. I just think being able to use this pillar to line a site, or get away from the Warlock, get the crowd control chains they need. It's going to be easier to sort of divide Maldiva and Metaphors, whereas on Dalar and Sewers, that box is so small, they're always stacked up on one another. Oh! Cubsy got sapped on his Cyclone cast on Metaphors. He dropped combat, and Nesper just snuck in and got that crowd control. And now Wealthy Man heavily behind on the back foot could be an ice block as well as Nesper puts the team on his shoulders here just hard carrying at the moment looking for an ice block but just not enough damage to find it despite sick plays by Nesper Cubsy is able to escape with only trading iron bark yeah, Snuts looking for a re-stealth right now. I think he's going to be able to find it. He does, okay? So now, once again, Snuts is in stealth, and they can pick their moment to push in, try to get the crowd control. Snuts can sort of set up his team. I think Nesper got in stealth as well, so both rogues basically have reset from the opener. Garot over on a Maldiva. Snuts doesn't want to line his sight, realizing Nesper could put him in a stun, force out his trinket, so wants to play it passively until Nesper is accounted for. Now that he is, he can push in and try to find some damage on Maldiva. All right, Wealthy Man taking control of Nesper in midfield. Cubsy backing him up. And if you're an assassination rogue against a Resto Druid and a Mage, it's not a good time as you'd be crowd controlled quite a lot. Super Frogs are trying to push forward and get aggressive here. And 
not even forcing a Gladiator's Medallion from Metaphors just yet. They need to stall Polymorph as long as they can. Maldiva stalls it out, and they're able to sit through that crowd control very easily, and now reverse it with crowd control of their own, but Wealthy Man denies Chaos Bolt, a very important spell to interrupt when your healer Cubsy is crowd controlled. Otherwise, you will have to trade powerful defensives or ultimately even go down. We see Frozenor finally drop by Wealthy Man, but he, he's still sitting on his icy veins for quite a long time. He's also starting to attack Metaphors a bit, and I think this is a good idea by the Super Frog if the enemy team Storm are going to stand next to each other, start dotting multiple targets, put pressure in multiple places, make it difficult to predict who they're going after. Snuts getting clotheslined by Metaphors and Maldiva behind the pillar. Cubsy trying to pick him up in desperation and manages to completely restabilize here in just a few short seconds, as it is likely these teams will need to have any moving forward outside of a massive mistake. There's an opportunity here maybe to kill Cubsy, as he has no Gladiator's Medallion for a minute and 40 seconds. He cannot get out of a kidney shot, who as Nesper has just initiated but instead using it for crowd control instead of attacking him and sapping him out of the kidney shot. Nesper really getting a lot of style plays on the rogue in this match. If he can keep these style plays going into dampening, it could net his team a kill. Perfect chain on Cubsy. Wealthy Man blocks at low health. If they can keep the chain going, Shadow Fury, Nesper moves over, trying to get a Garot, but not able to find it. Cubsy now out of crowd control and restabilizing, but Nesper, he's putting on those rogue pants and really carrying. If he can get just a couple more of these plays, I I think they were going to be able to do it. I mean, call me crazy. I just feel like Super Frogs, they're getting aggressive. Wealthy Man's blinking in when there's no setup crowd control on the Metaphors. Cubsy's not there. He's just looking for Polymorphs out of thin air. And when you do that, you don't have the crowd control. You're not winning in exchange. Maldiva will be able to do more damage than you. There is no question about it. You need the crowd control. So honestly, I think Super Frogs, they should just play it a little bit more passively. Storm, they've been doing a good job breaking out the CC, putting pressure on Cubsy and Wealthy Man, not allowing to, to get the long CC chains they need to take down a destruction warlock before dampening so you kind of got to just realize that oh. wealthy man once again going to be pushing in dr blind on metaphors into a cheap shot can wealthy man find the ring of frost unfortunately he misses it so a huge botch there by super frogs making big mistakes so that's is looking shaky here in game number three and maldiva and nesper just on fire back in the competition both of them kind of coming out of retirement for some time and really just blasting away the super frogs here in game three they need to clean it up either just abort the mission pull out defensively try and reset and maybe wait for a deeper stage in dampening because if they stand out in the open right now, Maldiva's got that Dark Soul rolling. His next Chaos Bolt, which is being casted right now, could be devastating towards Wealthy Man. Half of his health just completely eradicated. Smoke Bomb gets dropped in desperation to make a play. It could be a second Ice Block as Wealthy Man dips lower and lower, trying to play the safety. Second Ice Block gets forced in. The Super Frogs and the Gliders Medallion on the blind. The Super Frogs cannot afford to stand in the face of such a formidable team at this point. They need to get their act together. I want them to just run away and hide for a little bit, get back some of their defensive cooldowns. I feel like a push from the Super Frogs wouldn't be ideal. I mean, Metaphors, Ironbark, Trinket, Maldiva, he has his ending resolve, Nesper, every defensive cooldown. So pushing in, you have no defensives. Maybe they want to try to force something here. Snuts doesn't have the Vendetta. Maldiva going to be taking a little bit of damage. Wealthy Man with the Blizzard, with the Frozen Orb, going to be putting a little pressure on Maldiva, but really his HP isn't moving. It's kind of just tickling him at this point. Snuts having to run away, and I think Super Frogs is realizing they are not winning this game at this point in dampening so they're just going to sit back and try to make a little bit of a reset yeah metaphors is a massive man lead they got a cooldown lead they've got multiple openings and things are looking shaky for super frogs here in game three as storm looked to put them on match point there's an opportunity with snuts's smoke bomb to take out nesper if he overextends or if maldiva overextends and that's the thing if you're a warlock and the enemy team's running away you have to go out in the middle of nowhere and all you can do is waddle. So you might get stuck there and Smoke Bomb can be very devastating. Stunts is putting putting a lot of pressure towards Maldiva. They go for the blind play. Fortunately, that Comet Storm, if that Comet Storm was a bit closer, might have broke the blind. And is gonna make the safe play and trink it out of blind but this could still open an opportunity to switch over to him. Snuts is left out in open field, multiple Chaos Bolts. Nesper instead, though, deciding to retreat and maybe try and re-stealth, looking to get the added benefits of Subterfuge to increase the damage of his stealth attacks. Snuts now moving in, got a re-stealth of his own to boost his damage, but then immediately retreating back because Cubsy is so far away, sitting down for a drink, looking to regenerate mana so that he can be even or better than Metaphors for the late game, as this is likely to be a long haul between these teams. Yep. 
And I, I think what really is important for Super Frogs is they need to be landing the CC chains or waiting until dampening because the damage just isn't significant enough. If you don't land, if you commit your damage at this point in dampening without getting the CC, Maldiva is going to be completely fine. Later on, though, if you're committing damage and there's dampening, even if you're not getting every CC perfectly, you can still manage to dent Maldiva just a little bit. There's a full blind on the Cubs. He's actually s deciding to sit this as Ness was just caught into a Frost Nova in the middle of the map. So that go wasn't necessarily the best from Storm. I think they uh, may have got ahead of themselves just a little bit. Or Wealthy Man just had some nice outplays with that Frost Nova. But Super Frogs was able to easily shut that down. All right, now Super Frogs are trying to get aggressive. But Maldiva again intercepts. He's counter engaging with these Infernals. If he sets up for a big Chaos Bolt, it could be a kill on Wealthy Man. There's no defense. He's caught in center field. Maldiva just needs to restabilize. I think he should aggressively unending resolve in this position just go for the big chaos bolt go for the game winning play they've got an opportunity to just end it but he's starting to get shaky he doesn't want to go for it but he's just falling more and more behind he could have just traded out the cooldowns blasted away wealthy man and killed him outright but it was a risk that he didn't want to take and he's going to miss an opportunity instead now going after snuts the safer play on the overextended member but not able to find a chaos bolt during that vital dark soul timing yeah, so this is what's really important. Snuts now, no trinket available. He does not want to be pushing in. Nesper, I believe, has the smoke bomb available. So Cubsy can't get ahead of himself. He can't be pushing in for crowd control without getting a little bit of defense there. Ready for Snuts, full blind on Metaphors. He trinkets out with the kidney shot on Maldiva. Metaphors eats the polymorph on his trinket. Maldiva could be in some trouble now using the unending resolve. This is Icy Veins from Wealthy Man, the most powerful Frost Mage cooldown, increasing his haste, allowing him to get more damage, more crowd control. Um, they did get the unending resolve with that. I think that's a completely fair trade from Maldiva as well as Metaphor's Trinket. So now Storm is very vulnerable in this situation. They need to find some sort of counter pressure. But the way Super Frogs is playing, they're playing super defensive now, just avoiding damage at all costs outside of their goes. And I think that's the best strategy they have. They just need one more CC chain to close out this game. This is it. Nesper goes all in to kill Snuts. He's the only vulnerable member. Cubsy moves in but walks into crowd control. Will Snuts survive with this limited defense against Nesper? It looks to be the case. Frost Nova holds Nesper in place. Snuts now looks to turn the tables, pushing in towards Maldiva. Wealthy Man backs him up with Frozen Orb pressure, but they have no crowd control as Metaphors is soaking up the Frozen Orb. Instead, trying to switch to Metaphors, catch him off guard, and maybe turn the tide of battle in their favor. Metaphors in bear form, and he can use that gateway, the purple gate, to escape to safety across the map if he absolutely needs to. And the more time they spend in the deep end of damping, it's going to get even more dangerous, but they are just going for it, trying to gun down Metaphors, but not finding the kill. They leave Maldiva open. Chaos Bolt's flying towards Wealthy Man, but he is no longer really a target. The game has gone on long enough that both of his ice blocks have returned to his name, and he can get a lot more aggressive, and Snuts is really tearing in finally. Yeah, double Garot silence on Metaphors and Maldiva. Big damage from Wealthy Man. Maldiva getting lower kidney shot. Looks like well, Metaphors is able to keep him alive with that Iron Bark cooldown. Maldiva should stabilize. He does have the gateway. Metaphors and Maldiva at any time can gateway away. They're being very patient with that bash on Snuts. A little bit of pressure, but ultimately he's going to be fine. Nesper finds the cheap shot on the Cubsy. Garot kidney shot on Wealthy Man. Trying to make something happen for his team, but Cubsy easily deflects the situation with the Iron Bark. Now not available for Snuts, but he has his trinket. He has his Cloak of Shadows. Vendetta coming up for Snuts. Bash on Metaphors. Super Frogs looking to close out game number three. Maldiva getting lower. Metaphors, I don't think he has the healing. He gets caught into the full blind. He had to trinket out of the bash ring of frost and unfortunately maldiva's left all alone by himself smoke bomb gets dropped out as well as the infernals maldiva getting lower he's almost near the gateway he gates away if metaphors can get on top of him he might be able to survive nice cc from maldiva cloak of shadows kidney shot on him the damage is too high from super frogs too much crowd control and they end up winning game number three and ultimately once again we just see a game that goes it's nice every once in a while you get a blink but i, I feel <laughs> like just having that rock solid defense could be better it depends on how Maldiva does use it. Um, yeah, we'll definitely have to see Super Frogs. They're going to be moving in. Nesper looking for Snuts almost on top of Snuts. And actually, Snuts finds him. He drops his smoke bomb kidney shot. <laughs> Looks like Super Frogs is looking to get super aggressive on a Nesper. They might be able to pull out some cooldowns. Gladiator Safeguard, I believe, procked on Nesper. He has some sort of shield right now. Faint is going to be used as well to avoid damage. And now Super Frogs, I feel like that was... 
I don't know. I, yeah. That wasn't necessarily the best. I mean, that me. that play may have been good in other states of the game, but with how slow the games are with Resto Druids, it's just not the case that you can kind of cheese someone down right in the opener. Snuts tried to make a cheeky move, but now he just loses that threat smoke bomb for a more secured kill without cooldowns later on. It was a bit of a scary moment, but he ultimately nets basically nothing with that. Now, at the top of the bridge, this is exactly where Destruction Warlock wants to be. Unless his healer is in crowd control, then he really can't escape to save which is currently the situation as Snuts is locked, Metaphors down, Wealthy Man has Nesper out of the fight, and it's basically Maldiva versus the Super Frogs at this point in time, and they're trying to hold on to cooldowns, which is a very greedy decision as they are falling more and more behind. Are they going to get away with it is the question, or is Maldiva just going to fall? Lots of damage, and now crucial mistakes. They overlap cooldowns. Even with overlapped cooldowns, they may ultimately fall as Super Frogs are doing tons of damage in this game. Yeah, Cubsy looking for a Cyclone, gets denied on it by a bash from Metaphor. Iron Bark was used on Maldiva, the unending resolve as well, but both Metaphors and Maldiva still have their Trinket, they still have Gateway, so they're not completely out of it just yet. They still have a lot of defensives to work with, but like Sid was saying, on this map, there's not really too many places. Wealthy Man and Snuts, um, Cubsy can run away. Maldiva, if he's in midfield, he will be able to get out some damage unless he's gotten a kidney shot right now. Um, but after this, Maldiva should start moving to the middle of the bridge, I would assume, to try to get some CC. Even if he can't get it, I guess um, still Cubsy and Wealthy Man won't be able to build up too much damage. But I don't really like this positioning too much. I guess Maldivan metaphors, they want to force Wealthy Man to put out AoE damage, which would break any incoming crowd control on metaphors. Just trying to stall out the game potentially until some more cooldowns come back up for them. Nesper starting up with Wealthy Man. Uh, metaphors getting swapped to by Snuts, but Maldiva deflects with double mortal coil. Good timing there with a fear on Cubsy. Maldiva with a great setup. Chaos Bolts in the middle of the bridge, not able to find it. He really needs to start getting some Chaos Bolts out. Nobody's on him. He goes for the Nether Ward Chaos Bolt. Not able to spell steal it. Another Chaos Bolt towards Wealthy Man. Multiple. Wealthy Man could be in a bit of trouble here as Cubsy actually got interrupted. This could be an ice block. Wealthy Man blinks back to safety. Cubsy supports him. And looks to be just enough to survive without having to trade that vital cooldown ice block. Very important maneuver there by the Super Frogs. But finally, Maldiva able to get some aggression going. I want to see, honestly, I feel like right now the one criticism I have of Storm is their Maldics haven't been that good. They kind of completely wasted it there. The wealthy man got out of the stun. He blinked, used Blink to get back to safety. Cubs used his Iron Bark, and then they kind of just shoved it out. The go was over in my point of view, and I just feel like if they had been a little bit more patient with it when there's no Iron Bark available, they could have forced out an Ice Block. All right, Metaphor's looking for some Cyclones and gets Counterspelled. Good shutdown by Wealthy Man, but now Counterspell isn't available for Chaos Bolt. Maldiva's lining a couple of those up. Hibernate, cheeky Hibernate, catches Metaphor's there into crowd control. It could be devastating as Nesper's in Ring of Frost. Maldiva versus Super Frogs by himself for a few more seconds. Now Metaphor's able to back him up, but even still, very low on health. Mana in favor of the Super Frogs, but a Chaos Bolt at any moment could turn the tides of battle as that Dark Soul is popped. Chaos Bolt being fake casted. Maldiva going for it. Is he going to get it? He needs to get it in these next couple of seconds if it's going to do devastating damage. One Chaos Bolt flies off towards Wealthy Man, but that timing had now faded, and it is going to do basically nothing. Maldiva desperately trying to get something going for his team, but it's just so difficult through all these interrupts and stuns. And now Snuts having free reign, making a swap over to Metaphors to try and force even more defensives from their lineup. And the Super Frogs are in a dominant position here. It's really up to Nesper for these next couple seconds to make something happen. Yeah, Nesper tried to make something happen. He put the kidney shot on Cubsy, hoping he was going to fall out of combat. Used his Vanish, looking for a sap out of the kidney. Unfortunately, wasn't able to find it, so he had to trade out his blind instead. Cubsy trinket it out, but now with no Vanish, no Blind, Nesper really doesn't have any crowd control he can set up for his team. Kidney shot now on Metaphors. Looks like the Super Frog still going after Maldiva. Snuts trying to set up Wealthy Man a little bit with these off stuns, but when you don't have the Kidney shot on Maldiva, he's going to be able to spam out these fears, get some Chaos Bolts off as well, and it's definitely not an ideal situation. It's much better if Cubsy can push in to get these CCs, but it's just so risky at this point in the game. Like we saw in Tolveron, Super Frogs doesn't want to get over aggressive until at least a little bit later on in dampening. I don't think Demonic Gateway should be an aggressive cooldown. Maldiva should use that to chase opponents that try and run away. But in the meantime, they're pinned down. Everyone in crowd control. Super Frog's on fire as they ignite the crowd control chain even further. Ring of Frost secured. Maldiva again with perfect defense, deflecting the attack. Double Mortal Quill. Fear on Cubsy. Potential opening for him to counter aggress as well. Chaos Bolts. He's trying to fake cast the interrupts. Looking to get as many as he can. Nespero is able to sneak away and restyle and get a sap on Cubsy. Good maneuvers, maneuvers there. Snuts is locked out with Cyclones. 
three on one on Waltiman. Good crowd control by Storm. They may be able to pull an ice block with these Chaos Bolts. Waltiman blinks back to Cubsy's side, but it's becoming difficult. Well-timed Maledix here. He does manage to dispel them, however, and because of that dispel, they may be able to recover. They should have held on to one of them, wait for the dispel, then use the next. They could have potentially forced an ice block with just that minor change. Yep. Wealthy man getting a little bit low, but I feel like Super Frogs are really not pushing in outside of the Iron Bark cooldown. Well, Wealthy man has Iron Bark, to, uh, Iron Bark to fall back on. It's easy for their team to push in. Now that he doesn't have it, he's eating some Chaos Bolts and playing a little bit scared. Nesper all over him. Maldiva once again looking for another Chaos Bolt. Nuts has to shut it down. Uses his Vanish, gets the double grout. Now kidding shot over on a Metaphors. Frozen Orb gets dropped out. Nice swap on a Metaphors, forcing out the Bark Skin, but that's really all they're going to be able to get. In the meantime, Cubsy Trinket's blind, goes in stealth and sits down for a drink to make sure that he can secure a late game advantage and regenerate mana back to maximum. Great awareness by Cubsy. That's going to get him a massive lead moving forward with two ice blocks and almost a full mana bar in their favor. And the map is going to backfire a bit. As I said, it's a volatile one, one that can be punished in either favor side. But at the moment, Metaphor is actually falling behind and Snuts is carrying. Cubsy follows it up with a bash and Metaphor is in trouble. Maledix onto the renewal. Perfect timing. It absorbs the entire heal. Oh, and Metaphor so is hanging on by a thread, almost flying <laughs> to the rupture. Takes Ray of Frost from Wealthy Man. Not enough to finish him, but Snuts is in hot pursuit to take down Metaphors. Wealthy Man in line of sight. Metaphors on the run, barely staying alive. They're on match point. They lose this. They go down to the lower bracket. Urzel's Vortex, but he, he misplays there and gets caught out of bear form in another kidney shot. There's tons of damage. Maldiva carrying Metaphors right there. Great peels. Nesper backs him up as well, but that was almost a throwaway on Metaphors' part. I don't know what Metaphors was doing in cat form for so long. It was really obvious what Snuts wanted to to do but metaphors it manages to stay alive at one percent hp super frogs can't believe it there was a swap over on his nuts as well his nuts has no trinket no cloak of shadows another sw setup here on metaphors but he is in bear form i don't think wealthy man has the damage to take him down they do force out the bar skin metaphors still has iron bark almost rotating up as well as his trinket Maldiva being left alone is really scary for the Super Frogs. I feel like the Super Frogs may be getting a little bit over aggressive here on Metaphors. They just need to play I the mean, control game. They just shadow step kick him, snuts all over Metaphors. Thankfully, Maldiva's there to back him up. If he wasn't, this could just be over. Defensive blind, Maldiva trinkets. Cubsy jumps in to stun the trinket. Wealthy Man trying to trinket to get aggressive as well. This could be the closing match at this point. Metaphors stunned out of bear form. Trinkets now garroted. He needs to get away, but he just can't. Snuts completely dominating. Metaphors in this position. He's a gateway. Tries to get away, but Snuts is still just chasing him. Cubsy even jumping on top of Metaphors. Cyclonium at low health, buying time for Wealthy Man and Snuts to sit through crowd control and get right back onto him. Everybody in crowd control. Metaphors has to decide who he dispels, but Nesper gets cycloned on the dispel. If they can maledict this renewal and absorb the heal, it could be devastating. Metaphors gets Ursula's Vortex back in line of sight. Snuts gets bashed away. Dampening is higher and higher. It's going to be more and more difficult to recover for Metaphors. Another kidney shot. Barskin gets traded. Is that going to be enough? As Comet Storm comes crashing in. Lots of damage. Ray of Frost. They need to stop this Ray of Frost. Well, they might pass it instead. Metaphors dips low, trades Bark Skin, but even still, Snuts is just destroying him. Maldiva backs him up again, buying him a couple seconds to heal, but with Dampany so high, I don't know if he's going to make it. Yeah, Metaphors still low. He can't top himself off. Snuts on a Maldic connects once again. Super Frost closing out the series, riding that momentum on Metaphors. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further? into this tournament. Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.